your tag girl Mary and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I am back again to talk about the new Vivo V20 Pro and this time guys, camera review ito. And to make it, you know, a bit different, I will be using the Vivo V20 Pro in my, you know, day in the life. So yes guys, I will be using the new Vivo V20 Pro and bring it with me tomorrow, the next day na po, to run some errands and tayo ay magbablog. Yes guys, namiss kong magvlog. So tignan natin if the Vivo V20 Pro can pass as a, you know, vlogging smartphone. Since we all know din naman that the best camera is the camera or the phone that you have with you all the time. Before we start guys, let me refresh first kung ano yung camera specifications ng Vivo V20 Pro. Again, we have a triple camera setup that has a 64 megapixels main camera, an 8 megapixels ultra wide camera, and a 2 megapixels depth sensor. Lastly, for the dual main camera, we have a 44 megapixels for the main and 8 megapixels for the ultra wide camera. Both the main camera and the selfie camera has a capability to shoot up to 4K at 30 FPS is videos. So tara guys, sama kayo. The next clip will show you the next day. Hey guys, so as I said, doon sa ating sit down or tatayo pala ako doon na video sa studio, tayo ay magbo-vlog ngayon. So kami ay on the way to Southwoods kasi kami ay magpapa-RFID kasi nga 'di ba sa mga hindi po nakakaalam, wala na pong um Ano yun? Wala nang cash sa mga susunod na weeks. Hindi ko lang sure kung kailan. And ayan. Right now guys, I'm currently using yung ultra-wide camera ng Vivo V20 Pro. And ginagamit ko yung settings na, or yung feature na steady face. So, hindi lang po sa wide camera siya pwedeng gamitin. Kung hindi, sa ultra-wide. This is the main camera at naka-turn off na yung steady face. And medyo bumpy yung dinadaanan namin. So, makikita nyo na yung difference ng naka-turn on ng steady face. Uh, so, makikita nyo na yung difference guys ng naka-turn on at naka-turn off na steady face. So, it really did help yung footage natin kanina. So, yeah, it is quite useful. So, it is not something na, alam nyo yun, nandyan lang pero hindi mo naman gagamitin. So, so far, so good. So, ayan guys, I'm currently outside to get coffee muna kasi I forgot na may meeting pala kami. So, magsustay muna kami sa car and pumunta na rin kami sa RFID. So, wala doon yung dinahanap namin kasi kalax yung need namin na ipalagay. So, So, I got the coffee, guys. Ayan. It's complete and late na kami sa meeting kasi 2 p.m. yung meeting and I think it's already 2.10. So, anyway, nagmamadali na ako, guys. Hey, guys. So, kakabalik ko lang sa car and we are already in the meeting. Nakamute naman ako, so okay lang. So, I got myself um, caramel macchiato hot and then Jason, I got him. I got him vanilla sweet cream cold brew. <laughs> And then, bumili lang kami na yung banana bread kasi, ayun. And then, after that, buti na lang guys, nawala na yung ulan. We will be shooting outside. Super dami kong dalang phones, guys. Ganito ako. So, papakita ko sa inyo later on. update guys, we are here sa Southwoods. Dito sa colorful buildings na to. We condo. should, yeah, condo pala to. And then may mga like, um, fast food um, chain lang sa ilalim, ganyan. May barbers din dito actually. We usually go to places like this kapag marami kaming shoot, Like, um, kunwari marami kaming smartphones for review, ganyan. So marami akong dalang smartphones dito sa bayong ko. Tapos, ayun. We will just, you know, take some sample shots and then I'll see you guys again. Medyo madaming tumadaan na car kasi daanan talaga yan. If 
you guys want to know kung saan siya, malapit siya sa Southwoods Mall. Ito yung Southwoods Mall. And then, ito lang siya. Diba? Super ganda, guys. Ang gandang mag-picture. ng labas ng Southwoods Mall. In fairness. Hindi namin car, guys, yung purple. <laughs> Kakulay lang siya ng phone, kaya kami nagpicture doon. So, ayun. Disclaimer lang po. So, guys, after namin pumunta sa Southwoods, pumunta naman kami ng Nuvali. We actually took a few photos para lang mas matas namin ng mas maayos yung Vivo V20 Pro. And as you can see, we have the portrait mode and the wide mode. Medyo mas malaki actually yung difference and I really appreciate the portrait mode. Next is, of course, another ultra-wide and wide sample photo of me. And nakakatuwa na meron siyang ultra-wide camera because it really do make a difference, lalo na for group photos. 4K, 60 FPS. If you turn on ultra stable mode, the resolution will come down to 1080p, 30 FPS. I'm now shooting in 4K, 60 FPS and yeah, ultra stable mode makes it much better, especially if you have shaky hands like me. Just a very quick update. Nasa bahay na kami. Hindi na ako nakapagpaalam, but yun lang yun nangyari. And I'm currently editing the video now. Ayan siya, this one. So ayan, that's how we usually spend the day going outside, taking sample photos, um, getting coffee, tapos babalik na kami sa studio kasi alam niyo naman guys, delikado, hindi kami pwedeng mamasyal. So ayan, putahan natin sa si Jason, tingnan natin kung anong ginagawa niya during his, you know, free time. Naka-turn on yung ating ultra stable and tayo ay naka 1080p video resolution. What are you doing? Moving your stamps. Okay. <laughs> so Jason's fixing my keyboard while I don't know while doing Facebook. <laughs> yeah, ati yung dating key, ati yung dating stabilizers niya. So it is pretty cheap and it's just OEM. So kina lang ng Zeal stabilizers para mas tahimik siya. And it looks good. Ito yung keyboard ko guys. Ito yung inaayos niya. And yep, kakatapos lang namin actually mag-edit and mag-publish ng video. So very productive day, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ito naman guys, ang situation natin dito. I am currently using his keyboard kasi nga um, wala akong keyboard. Eh, nag edit ako. And then I just finished my ice cream na coffee flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi ko pa naubos. Share kami ni Jason dahil ako ay tataba ng sobra. So, ayun guys. Finally, tapos na tayo sa ating Vivo V20 Pro 5G a day in a life. Actually, it was pretty fun. Hindi naman siya yung tipo ng video na sobrang detalyado na kung saan sasabihin ko sa inyo lahat ng specs niya, megapixels, and everything. It was literally me taking you with me using the Vivo V20 Pro. So, pasado ba sa'yo, Mary, ang Vivo V20 Pro? For me, yes, it is. Maganda, guys, yung binibigay sa akin na quality, especially if I am using the 4K video. And kapag naglalakad naman, don't expect a very stabilized, you know, footage. Because again, naka 4K resolution nga ako most of the time. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo guys, hindi ganun ka-stabilized yung videos natin. But I do go down to 1080p if sobrang kailangan ko talaga ng stabilization. Isa sa pinaka-favorite ko siguro is yung steady face. Kung mapapansin nyo, sobrang laki ng difference kapag naka-turn on po ang steady face sa settings niya. And also, just to add before I end this guys, sobrang eye-catcher ng Vivo V. 20 Pro, especially nga itong Sunset Melody. Kung makikita nyo guys, nag-shoot nga kami outside. Don't worry guys, naligo naman ako pag uwi at nag-sanitize. Sobrang grabe, pinagtitinginan po talaga ang Vivo V20 Pro 5G dahil grabe naman talaga yung kulay na meron ito. Talagang mapapalingan ka. Anyway, I really do hope guys nag-enjoy kayo. Again, it's your Tagal Mary and see you on my next video. Bye guys!